Oh, good morning. Good morning from me, at least. Um, so, today is Saturday, September 10th. And, yeah, it's been a little crazy. Like, the past couple of weeks have been extremely crazy. And I know I say that a lot of sometimes, but it just feels like um, there's always something happening in my life, whether good or bad. I'm not complaining nonetheless, um, but I am, you know, feeling it. But anyways, I am eating a late breakfast. Um, and I need to go to the bank. I need to do errands today, but I don't think that I'm going to be out this house by one before the bank closes. It is 11.57, so yeah, I'm eating a late breakfast, but because um, I slept in today, I didn't get up until 10. <laughs> that is so unlike me, but I was up until midnight last night. I just, I'm going through um, some changes in my life, so yeah, I was up. Um, but anyways, I don't think I'm going to be out this house by one. So, whatever money I need to get out, I need to be able to get out at the, at the ATM. Um, um, I have meal prep on right now. Um, to prep for the next week for me and Coco. As you can see her right. I'm not even pointing in the right direction. Right. This chick over here. This chick over here. That chick right there. Yeah. So I'm meal prepping for her and myself. Um, so that way we'll be good for the next week. And yeah, my day is going to be filled with errands and getting a little bit of work done. I need to go through my financial planner that I created and um, actually map out my bills for the month. But I don't want anything. I'm just checking in. Um, I do have to, like I said, run errands today. So I have an item I have to pick up at Best Buy. I have... I have my whole to-do list that I need to get together. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my food. I'm going while I'm finishing my food, I'm gonna write out my bills. And then if we can get out this house before one to quickly get into the bank, then that'll be awesome. If not, then I get it. But alright, so I'll check back in a bit. Okay. So I did make it out the house and um I end up making it to the bank. Um, I still have food meal prepping, um, but um, I went ahead and turned it off, turned everything off. I mean, it, everything was done already, um, so I just took it off the heat, so I'm letting it cool off before I start prepping it out. Get this seat. But I wanted to run out to catch the bank before they close, and I got here under 10 minutes. So I had like eight minutes before they closed, thank God. Sorry. But, um, so we did that, thank God. Got what I needed. So now, since I'm out, I'm going to head to the car wash. Um, because I have one more free car wash, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And then I am going to, my dog need more snacks, so I brought this with me to remind me because it's empty. So I need to stop at the store to get her her snacks and stuff because they didn't have it at the store yesterday when I went grocery shopping. So we're going to do that. 
while we're out and then I really didn't plan out leaving today really um, I have a nail shop on here but we're just gonna go to the nail shop tomorrow um, we did the grocery store yesterday and then I already bought my breakfast shakes and all that stuff so that's my little to-do list um, I do want to go home and read some more of the ebook that I purchased um, a few days ago um, and I also want to look over a couple things that I can do for my website and so that is the goal but let's get this party started and I need to pull up the what's the name for my car wash so I will see you guys when I get there job it's not like a detailed wash but it does something about to go. I just finished getting the car wash. Lights on wipes that I keep in the car. And I just hold on y'all. <sighs> that was a lot. So I got my car washed and I decided to come in because they have a part where they have free vacuums. So I was vacuuming it out, wiping it down because we haven't done that in a minute. So we got that. I had this in my car that I have not used in a while. I mean, I have not used it yet and I had it and it is a portable um, diffuser. So we got that. Um, I'm just gonna put that there. I need to wash this. Anyway, so I think what we're gonna do now, I just realized I got a few places to go to. It is, let's see. Should I put gas in my car now? Or should I wait? I'll wait. Because I think gas over here is a little bit more. Yep, it's a little bit more money. Right here it's 509, but up the street, like by my house, it is like 493. You know, it's just a little difference, but every penny helps. Um so we are gonna leave now and I'll just get gas later by my house. Either today or tomorrow. So our next stop is to go get the snacks for Miss Coco. And the seat, the seat, the seat. The seat, my little leather padding keeps sliding. Anyways, we are going to go get 
the snacks for Coco now. And then we might go to the Dollar Tree. Might. Uh, I'm trying to think what I need there. I don't think I. I don't think I need anything from there. And then we have to go to Best Buy and pick up the package. So let's go. Okay, now we are at. Um, actually, Dollar General is where I come and get her snacks because it's up the street from my house, and they're usually cheaper here. Um, so. Yes, I wear, still wear my mask because nobody can make me change my mind otherwise right now. Um, even though we're in that dead middle in the pandemic where it's kind of like still a little cray cray. Especially with monkeypox. So, y'all hold me to it. I only want to be in here five minutes. We want to get in and out. We're going straight to her snacks. This is pitiful. And then here, look at this. Like, what's going on, boo? And we're back in the car. I was probably in there about. 15 minutes so more than five what I have forgotten is that whenever I come to Dollar General um, I usually try to check their app because you get discounts from the app and I didn't check it before I went in there so I was in the aisle looking and checking uh, did these go up I'm not gonna even go back in there for it. It's only like 45 cent difference, but you know what? It's fine, whatever. So quick haul. We got another thing of tissue, and this was only five dollars for a pack of 12. So I always try to get um, a pack when I come to the grocery store, just um, because you know this world is crazy when it comes to tissue. We got the dental tubes for Miss Coco. Then we got some begging strips. She loves those. Then we got uh -oh, um, the Colgate, Colgate baking soda and peroxide. I went ahead and got one of these hydrogen peroxide sprays. Um, I don't know about you, but every household, even growing up, Every mama would have some of this. Black, white, whoever you are, every mama would have some hydrogen peroxide. So um, I went ahead and got some of this um, because I have been getting little scrapes and stuff on me, um, bites and stuff like that. And so this helps prevent infection, clean the area, and I can put it in my little um, first aid kit with my my uh, emergency bag and then I went ahead I didn't come in here for this but I went ahead and got some Coralin um, this is multi-purpose cleaner with bleach and I'm going to use this for the bathroom yep we can use it for the bathroom and all of this came up to $16 which is not a bad deal so now we are going to head over to, I could go tomorrow because I'm going to be over there tomorrow anyway for my nails, but just in case, um, I might as well do it while I'm out. We're going to head over to Best Buy and pick up our um, purchase. So let's go. Okay, so I just got my order. I did curbside pickup. Let me show you guys what I got. I finally budged in and got me an air fryer but I had rewards so I basically got it for free it's a small two quart size so small just for me and I thought I would give it a good try and just see how I like the air fryers because like I said it is um, I did get it for free so we're gonna try this out um, the crazy thing is um, 
I didn't realize that I had free movie tickets for today. I for, totally forgot. And I just was scrolling through trying to find my order confirmation for this to pick it up. And I noticed my ticket. So the movie starts 7 p.m. tonight. I think I'm going to go. I think I'm just going to go. So let's go home. Well, we're going to get coffee. We're going to get some Starbucks. And then we're going to go ahead and go home and then um, go to this movie later on. Yeah, I think. Why not? Why not? Let's go. Hmm. Excuse me. I'm here at Starbucks and I want to know how you going to say you out of part of the drink but charge the same amount. Like really? But um, I'm literally at the corner of my house. Um, I'm going to get the Starbucks. I'm going to go in. It's 3 o'clock now. I'll leave the house around 6.30 to get to the movies. So... Um, yeah, just wanted to check in, didn't want nothing much, but I'm so tired. I'm trying to think what I can do. Should I take my laptop with me and go to the office early, like an hour early and do a little bit of work before I go down to the movies? Maybe I should do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. That way I can like utilize my time better. So I'll leave the house around 5 30 get there by 6 we'll see okay here is my meal prep i have some white rice under there and then i have um some pork chops that i made in the um in my slow cooker or sorry in my i made it in my crock pot um, and I just put onions and some Texas barbecue sauce and, um, yeah, and it's really, really good. And then some Brussels sprouts. And so these are my meal preps for the next few days. And then I just went ahead and plated me some because I'm going to eat this now. So, yeah, I was just saying that I'm just going to go ahead and eat some now. I was going to save it until... Um, just prep it and plate it and then warm it up when I got out of the movies later on tonight. But I won't be back home probably until after 9 o'clock. So I'm just going to go ahead and eat an early dinner, which is almost 5 o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and just eat my dinner now. And then take me a couple snacks or whatever to the movies with me. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and eat this 4 o'clock. Um, is it 4 or 5? Sorry, it's 5 o'clock. So 5 o'clock now. And we want to leave the house about 5.30. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and eat this and enjoy this. And then we'll be ready to go. So part of me just wants to stay in this house um, and just chill out. It's not as hot today like it's been for the past few days um, out here. Um, but um, part of me just wants to relax, chill out, and... You know do nothing but i'm trying to be proactive in my life and because i do have these free movie tickets um and i think it is a christian film i'm gonna just go ahead and go see it because you know god might be trying to bless me you know um you never know who i'm gonna meet or what message i'm going to receive and so i'm gonna go ahead and see that the theater that i'm going to is let me actually double check because I thought it was near my office, but I have to double check. If it's the theater near my office, then what I'll do is take my laptop, go an hour early. If I leave by 530, I should get there a little bit before six. And then I'll have just about an hour to do some work. If it's not the one by my office, then that changes things. But we'll see. Let me check. Okay, so I made it out the house. It is 547 right now way past the time I wanted to leave. I made myself presentable, but then I dropped water on here, so I'm hoping that it just dries up by the time I get there. It is still kind of warm out here, even though it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's overcast in the sky, but it's a little warm, but it has a nice cool breeze to it. Um, I have my little sweater here, sweater jacket here, that I can throw on with throw on me once I get to the actual theater 
Um, yeah. So, I'm looking shiny because I sprayed some of the face spray on me to refresh my face because I wasn't really doing anything with it. When I get home, I'll take a shower and do all that stuff, but okay, you can probably hear me better now, but I just wanted to get out the house, so change of plans. Excuse me. Um, I thought the theater that I was going to see the movie at was the one near, like in the same shopping center as my office space for my publishing company, but it is not. I selected the a different theater and so it's one that's like 10 minutes away from my office which means what I'm going to do is I'm going to still go ahead and go to the office and um, don't judge me but I brought my little cup and I'm going to make me hot chocolate in there um, and take that in the theater with me and then we're going to um, I'm going to see how much time I have but I probably won't be able to do any work at the office but at least um, I want to go in there and I want to pray over what I'm doing with my business. I just want to pray. And so I'm going to do that and then we are going to head straight to the theater, which is 10 minutes or less from my office. So it's not a bad deal, but I did think it was the one right near my office. But anyway, so um, we are headed there now and I will check in later. It is so crowded over here and this is the hangout spot. But it literally feels like I'm the only one that still wears a mask in this world. But I guess when I'm around huge crowds, I'll put on a mask. here in the office and I take it that I'm the only one here because it is dark yeah okay, so we don't have that much time it's 6 17 so we gotta leave quick but I had initially I had initially brought my, um, I'm trying to set you guys up a little bit. Let me see if I can set you guys up behind this. Oh. Okay, so. Initially, I brought my iPad and my book, and I was going to try and do a little bit of work but that's not going to work because um it is six going on to 6 20 and we still need to get to our location and find a parking space and everything and so what i want to do is right now we are going to say a quick prayer we're going to pray over this space and we're going to also pray that God expands our territory um, because we are working on a lot of amazing things behind the scenes so let us pray Father in the name of Jesus we come to you right now thanking you thanking you God for what you have already done for us Lord Father God we thank you for who you are and that you are a God above all things and that you only want what's best for us Lord Father God we thank you that you have put us in this position in this place right now to do the things that you have called us to do Lord Father God with the Dream Inc. house and Dream Loud Inc. public Lord Father God, we just thank you for the lives that will be touched and for those who will be coming on a board to our staff, Lord Father God, to volunteer um, for whatever we may need, Lord Father God, and we just thank you right now 
we thank you that you have pardoned us from any strongholds that may be holding that we may be holding on to lord father god that is blocking us from the blessings within this business within this company within this corporation lord father god we just thank you in the name of jesus that you said it in your word that you'll never leave us nor forsake us and that you have our backs lord father god as long as our will is aligned directly with yours lord father god so today we just ask that your will be done. Your will be done. Whatever we are desiring for this company, we ask that you align it directly with your will, Lord Father God. And we just thank you. We praise you right now. And we just lift our hands up in, in praise, Lord Father God, for everything that you are doing. We thank you for the, the people that are already on staff, the people that are on board with us right now, um, for the people who will be coming to board, Lord Father God, for the clients, for all the books that are going to flow out of Dream Loud Inc. Publishing. We thank you for that right now, for the stories that are going to be published and printed, Lord Father God, for the community that we are building, Lord. We just thank you. We thank you that it is already done. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. So, just a quick prayer. Um, yeah, since I can't come in and do any work, really, I thought that I'll just go ahead and um, come up and pray. Why not? So, I'm going to pray. I'm going to actually go ahead and use the restroom because i got to do that. And then we're going to come back in and make some hot chocolate. And then we're going to potentially be out. But... Let's, let's go to the restaurant. Okay, so we are going to make hot chocolate. Oh, I pray to God there's some in here. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Okay. And we brought our cup today. And don't judge me. I put marshmallows in here. I sure did. But we are going to take... A couple of them out and we are going to hot chocolate and yep so oh I'm glad I looked I don't think this cup will fit under here so I have to use one of these. Got it in there. I did it. Mm -hmm. It's so crowded over here. Look at this. Okay, so we are back in the car, leaving the office. And as you can see, my, the office that my office the area that my office is in it is in is well lit like it's a Saturday night and everybody is out like they have a play area for the kids filled with shopping centers grocery stores it's well lit usually during the week when I um, when I come to the office after I get off my nine-to-five 
I usually go through the back way so I don't experience all this because like I said I go through the back way um, and I usually park directly in the back but today's a Saturday night and of course all the parking space is taken in the back area so we are not going to complain But anyways, let me make it to this theater and I'll hit y'all back. Like, I knew it was about to rain. It is sprinkling now. I knew it. I felt it. Like, I literally felt it. But we are here. So let's go. Looking at it. Now the world will tell you that it's all about winning. Do what I cannot do for this team. Yours. How many movies are they gonna make about Whitney? How many? So, it's a lot of restaurants and stuff over here. It's a cool little spot to have date night or whatever. But, oh, we need to go home. I barely have a little bit of left of my hot chocolate left, but it was good drinking on that. We are leaving. We are finally leaving. <sighs> Ready to get home. Let me get in this car. <clears throat> Always watch our surroundings. But I'm about to go. But anyway, so I'm so excited to go home. But. Uh, I was going to say from the previous clip that I showed with that it's it's the title's called I Want to Dance with Somebody and it's supposed to be a um an, um, an upcoming movie about Whitney Houston. It's like I'm so tired of them making movies about Whitney. Whitney was my number one. She was my number one. And I just feel like everybody getting rich off of her now. Just like with Michael Jackson. But they have already made like three or four different movies of Whitney. It's like crazy. But anyway, so the movie... Trying to get myself together. Anyways, so the movie, I went to go see Life Mark. It was a Christian-based film. And um, I doubted it. Um, but it was actually pretty good. In the beginning, when I first came out to see it, I was like, oh, it's probably just going to be one of those Lifetime movie type of things. And to me, it kind of was. It was, it, it was. it resembled like a Lifetime Movie Network type of movie. But it had a really, really good message, message about adoption. And it really spoke on forgiveness and um so i really really did enjoy it and i'm glad I, I came out because um you know if i didn't come out i would have been just chilling in bed because 
I did everything that I was going to do this morning or today. And so it would not have been a need for me to, um, there it goes. It would not have been a need for me to um, go out and do anything else because I ran on my errands and the bank and picked up packages and did all that I was going to do today. So this was nice getting myself out and going on a little, a little solo date. Um, and I think that I'm going to do more of those solo dates. But anyways, I need to get on this road, get home, and I will check back in or end the vlog or whatever. Or see you in the next vlog. So bye for now. Okay, I have made it home. It is 9.29. So basically 9.30. I've been home for about roughly 10 minutes or almost 10 minutes. I'm about to call it a night. 9 30 what i'm gonna do take a shower and chill out tomorrow we'll be getting these nails done and i might wash clothes tomorrow but that's about it that's about it do a few things for the business and yeah but anyways i'm looking a mess anyways um just wanted to check in in the vlog. You guys have a wonderful night, morning, and evening whenever you're watching this. And I will see you on the next video. Bye for now.